the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 171, Hosea 1 to 4. Hosea's burning heart. Hosea realized God's faithful and inseparable love for North Israel through marriage with Goma, who was an adulterous woman. First point. To North Israel, who disregarded their mission in the kingdom of priests for the past 200 years, Hosea made the final plea. To compare the two prophets who both ministered during 8th century BC, Amos was from South Judah, who was called to North Israel, in order to point out the faults of the people as well as to proclaim their fall. As for Hosea, he was from North Israel, and God called him to criticize the people's religious faults and was furthermore told to understand God's heart through his own life's circumstances. Hosea put his life into telling the people God's message, but the people of North Israel did not listen to Amos or Hosea. They were focused on serving the Baals and Asherah that was established 200 years ago. After a long wait, God sent Hosea to give them their final warning. God told Hosea to marry Goma, who was an adulterous woman and her servant of the Baals. He was to marry her and have adulterous children. Through this, God explained to Hosea about the conditions of his heart for the past 200 years. Although married to Hosea, Goma still went to the temple of the Baals and continued with her adulterous lifestyle. But God told him to continue loving her as his wife. Second point, Hosea obeyed God's command to marry an adulterous woman. Hosea ministered during the times of Jeroboam II, which was an abundant and prosperous time for North Israel. Through the names of the children born by Goma, God sent his message to North Israel. The names of the three children were the following. The first was Jezreel. The name symbolized God's punishment of the house of Ahab and the servant of the Baals by Jehu. The second child's name was Loluhama. Her name meant not shown mercy. God said that he would no longer show his mercy to Israel. However, God said that he will continue to show mercy to South Judah. The third child's name was Lo Ame. The name meant not my people. God himself named the three children and their names all had meaning in showing God's heart and plan. But God still showed love and mercy even amid such circumstances. God said that even if one's wife and children were adulterous, how could he stop loving or caring for them? This was the theme of Hosea and his life. Third point, God yearned for North Israel to return to him by repenting. In Hosea chapter 2, God gives Israel their message of restoration. God gave them a day of restoration to look forward to. God gave them this message and furthermore used the Gomer as an example to reveal the sins of those Israel. The reason God proclaimed punishment on those Israel can be found in Hosea 2 verses 7 to 8. The meaning of returning to my husband here was a reference to the people returning to God. God told them of what would happen if they refused to return to him until the end. The first was that they would have nothing to reap during harvest. The second was that North Israel would be ridiculed. The third was that they would not be allowed to make an offering to God. 
The fourth was that the grounds of North Israel would be destroyed. The fifth was that North Israel would be punished as much as the days they worshipped the idols. As God told them of their punishments, He waited for them to return to Him. We can see how God could not let go of His people because of His mercy and love. Fourth point, Hosea's burning heart, after praying to get his adulterous wife back, resembled God's burning heart. God told Hosea to bring back Omar, who was staying with another man. So Hosea went to collect her and paid the man to get his wife back. Hosea promised to love Gomer again. The sum Hosea had to pay to get Gomer back was 15 shekels of silver and about a homer and a less sack of barley. This sum was the amount that was paid to buy a servant. Here we are reminded of the 30 pieces of silver Judas Iscariot was paid to betray Jesus. What are you willing to give me if I deliver him over to you? So they counted out for him 30 pieces of silver. Fifth point, Hosea proclaimed nine summons regarding those Israel's sins. After praying to get his wife back, Hosea started his series of nine summons to the people of those Israel. The first summon outlined the sins of those Israel. The second summon told of God's punishment on them that was to come. Hosea proclaimed that the entirety of North Israel was about to fall. The third summon outlined the faults of the priests. The fourth summon told of God's punishment for the priests as well as the people. The fifth summon rebuked the people for worshiping idols. The sixth summon was about how he hoped South Judah would not be like North Israel. South Judah was told not to go to Gilgal. Although this was the place where the Mana generation crossed the Jordan River, Gilgal had become a place of severe idol worship. The remaining summons continue in the following chapters. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tong Doc Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does, the way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tong Dot Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God, enables God to do mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel the healing that comes from mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.